Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Monday the 13th of April 2013. This is an update on my series on the Crow Debunkery project and uh, piece by piece we're going to put this all together and um, look at all of the claims uh, point by point and uh, see if we can analyse them, take them apart, put them back together and uh, see what remains. Now one of the points that uh, Crow has made about his Lunar Wave videos is that the lunar wave cannot be seen in the atmosphere outside the disk of the moon. In other words, it is confined to the moon, according to Crow. Now, according to Crow, this is absolute proof uh, that it is not atmospheric, as I claim it is, but is in fact uh, local to the moon. Well, we're going to test that little theory in this video, and uh, hopefully later on what I'll do is I'll edit together all these little video clips that I've been making. I'll put them together into, into one longer video so that we can have uh, one um, all-up, all-in-all video uh, with all of the uh, facts uh, included. So what we're going to do is we're going to do some tests on this to see if, if Crow's reasoning is correct. And unfortunately for Crow, he claims that he's a researcher. He claims that he provides his proof, but unfortunately he doesn't know how to do the science. Now one of the things that you do in science is to have a control. And a control is a test example, and um, fortunately, thanks to Crosswind, uh, who sent me the two clips of his Lunar Wave video, we have a couple of controls, and we're going to use those controls and uh, doing, do a little test on them. So here are the two clips that were sent to me by uh, Crosswind, uh, these two clips here, and I'm going to open them up in VLC Media Player. So there is the first clip, I'll turn off the sound. That was five seconds long, and uh, we saw the plane flying across in front of the moon. Okay, pretty quick. Now, following that, when we slow this clip down, and you would have seen uh, this clip in my previous videos slowed down, we see a very distinct lunar wave crossing from left to right. You can see that especially when it's zoomed up and slowed down. Now, we know that this lunar wave is in fact caused by the aircraft that was passing by, which means that it is atmospheric refraction. In fact, I can still see the bulge on the on the moon here and down here from where this wave is cuts across here. Hopefully you can see that if you've got the video set to full HD 720p when you're viewing and watching a full screen, hopefully in a or preferably in a darkened room. But what we're going to do now is I'm going to step this back to, to where, the, where the plane is. In fact, you can see some, some of the weight there from the plane that's just passed. And uh, I'm going to step this back. And uh, this would be a good shot to start with, but I'll bring it back a little bit further so you can see where we're at. Now I'm going to step this through frame by frame so you can see the plane coming into view. Uh, there is one of its engines. There's two of its engines in view. There is the leading edge of the wing, and I'm going to pause it here. Okay, so we can see this this um, wake that has been created by the air disturbance of the wing and the engines. We've got an engine here and an engine here, and you can see the exhaust here from the engines. So clearly, we can't see anything else other than what we can see here because of the blackness of the sky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on VLC, I'm going to go down to Tools, and I'm going to go down to Effects and Filters, and open up the Video Effects, and then I'm going to select Image Adjust, and you can see already that that's had an effect, and we can adjust the, um, the brightness, the contrast, the hue, the saturation, the gamma. I'll leave the sharpening and all of this alone. But um, you'll be able to see that as I adjust the, the, the brightness, um, that the only thing that we can see there is what we can see immediately here because of the illumination of the, of the moon providing a, a backlight. So now remember that the moon is half of one degree across in angular size. 
half of one degree is 30 arc minutes. So we're just talking about a few arc minutes of um, angular separation for this um, atmospheric distortion that we're seeing here. It's, it's tiny. So let me play with these controls. Um, that's, that's the hue. That's not doing very much for me. Um, but we'll adjust the, the, the brightness and we'll adjust the contrast. And that has a similar sort of effect. Um, let's turn the brightness and the contrast. So we'll put them both both up. I'm just playing here. Now I'm doing this live instead of making clips and you know editing them so that you can see what I'm doing. Okay. So that I can't be accused of manipulating the footage or editing out what I don't want you to see if that was the case. Um, it's all here in fact you know, um, you could probably go to Crosswind's video and um, and record it or download it or, or whatever and um, and play with the clips yourself. But this is a control test, as I say. Um, this is what science is all about. Crow claims that, that he's done his research and uh, and that he's done his tests and, and, and that this is absolute proof that the lunar wave is real because you can only see the lunar wave on the moon according to Crow. You can't see it in the atmosphere. Well, here is a plane crossing the moon. We can see its wing there. We can see the distortion from the engine. Clearly this is atmospheric, but we can't see it in the in the blackness of space. Why is that? Because there is no light from the um, from the sky being nighttime. There's no light to, to illuminate that, um, that refraction. Um, there's nothing to see. Uh, there's, there's no light to be refracted um, that, that we would see. You, you've got to have some backlighting to be able to see such a refraction. And the moon, of course, provides that light that we can see in the form of what Crow calls a lunar wave. Okay, so I'm going to turn the image adjust off, and I'm going to run this forward to... Right, there's the lunar wave. Um, it stopped right there. And again, I'm going to do the same thing. And let's see if we can see any evidence of that lunar wave. Now, these are basic effects that I'm, I'm using here. But I've actually sent this clip out to a couple of uh, people who I consider to be experts um, with um, video tools such as uh, Adobe Premiere. Um, one person who I've asked to have a look at, and uh, he's doing so, is Fluke, Skywa uh, Fluke Skywatcher. And um, I'll put a link in the description area to his channel. And the other person I've, um, I'm getting to have a look at these clips is uh, UFO Theatre. And again, I'll put a link in the description area to his channel and his website. And... Uh, um, they're going to analyze these clips, and uh, Fluke Skywatcher has already sent me a couple of clips um, that we've looked at, and there's no evidence of the um, of the atmospheric disturbance outside the disk of the moon. Um, so I'll upload those videos, and um, no doubt Fluke Skywatcher and UFO Theatre will do the same, and I will mirror their videos on my channel as well, and uh, we'll put this all together. Okay, so there's no evidence here of the so-called lunar wave outside the disk of the moon. So let's try the other clip. Okay, so I'll close that one, and let's look at this one. Let's play it through once. Here goes our plane, and here's this fantastic lunar wave. Okay, so I'll turn the sound off on that one, and I'll play it through again. Okay, I'm not sure what's happening with my sound there, but anyway. Um, so again, we can see this atmospheric disturbance, and uh, let's turn on the um, where are we tools. Let's turn on the effects and filters, video effects. Image adjust, and let's play with that brightness, and back down there, 
and again we cannot see any atmospheric effects from that big plane that is flying across in front of the moon um, so according to Crow's logic uh, if this was atmospheric which indeed it is then we should be able to see some sort of noise or um, effects when we adjust the, the levels when we adjust the gamma levels there's nothing there Crow so uh, I think that that puts that uh, supposed proof uh, to rest it is not proof that the lunar wave is in fact real um, and let's have a look at the clip that Fluke Skywatcher has sent me so far uh, let's have a look, lunar wave edits, here we go now I'll just turn off the sound ok let's try turning the volume down, see if that helps ok that's better so these are the clips that Fluke Skywatcher has um, has analyzed for me with his uh, Adobe Premiere uh, video editing software and he's adjusted the levels and um, as you can see uh, with different filters applied and so on we basically get the same result that we cannot see the atmospheric effects of the aircraft passing by other than what we see very close to the moon because of the illumination of the moon and again we're talking about a slight fraction of a degree away from the moon um, so there we have it is proof that um, Crow 777's so-called proof that the lunar wave is real is not proof at all um, when we apply this to a control test of aircraft flying across in front of the moon uh, we cannot see any evidence of the atmospheric disturbance from the aircraft or the lunar wave outside the disk of the moon beyond a few arc seconds which is a slight fraction of, of, a, of one degree so again um, as I say I will edit these clips together into one great big video so that all of the evidence is presented together but um, the story is not done by a long shot there is still a lot of uh, claims and counterclaims to look at and I'm still waiting for Crow to send me that uh, audio recording of our Skype conversation in fact I'm going to put up a uh, count up clock timer um, from when I first uploaded that video about our Skype conversation uh, to show the elapsed time since I requested that uh, recording from uh, Crow so stay tuned uh, there will be further on this and uh, as always do check out my Facebook discussion page Voices of Reason to Explain X or Vortex you'll find a link in the description area thank you for watching